what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and for this one man i wanted to share some more gameplay with you guys using the mad titan thanos in his new infinity war uniform a uniform that i picked up and i played extensively and i told you guys that i have mixed feelings about some of the changes they made to thanos in this uniform but don't get it twisted i still think this is one of the best uniforms in the game and it is by no means a waste of crystals and believe me when i say i've been using this thing even more than i was before because since i spent 1500 crystals to get it and because i love thanos i've been trying to find my own sense of balance and i've been loving it a little bit more i'm not sure if it's because i'm biased because i love thanos as a character so like subconsciously it's slowly winning me over but for today nonetheless i wanted to show you guys how he performs on an entry mode inside shadowland and this one is actually going to be the dormammu entry mode where characters can become immune to energy damage and in case you guys don't know for some reason a lot of thanos skills actually deal energy damage so i wanted to show you guys how he performs there because that was actually pretty surprising for me as i was testing him out even though i knew like he had ridiculous amount of damage i was not expecting him to be as dominant here because like i said the characters can become immune to energy damage okay so with that said let's actually take a look at the build as you guys can see we have 116 for attack speed 51 percent for critical rate 182 for critical damage 49 percent for ignore defense and 50 percent for reduced cooldown duration as for the gears guys this is what they currently look like as you can see for the first slot i'm running two physical attack and two ignore defense for the second third and fourth slot they all look the same and they have two physical attack and two critical damage as for the skills guys as you can see everything is at six the rotation in this uniform looks something like four cancel five cancel three then you want to go one and then two and then right back into four so you want to cancel the four and the five right after you see that he initiates the skills you don't have to wait for the animations to play out and you'll still get the damage in pve these skills are freaking phenomenal but in pvp i told you guys extensively before and i don't want to rant here but this skill just be careful when you use it because it can get cancelled pretty easily as you can see right now i don't have his freaking iso set fully awakened and that is not for lack of resources believe it or not it's just that when i saw how easy his new five skill can be cancelled i got really depressed and i was just like man like seriously really bro like you know like i got hella mad and i was just like you know what i don't even want to finish this now because my motivation like my drive to make this guy as good as i can make him just kind of like crashed like i still love him and i will still finish this it's just like it's one of those things where you hype yourself up for something so much and then when you get it and it's just like damn this is not as good as i thought it was gonna be you know it's like one of those moments like i just had like an epiphany i was like shit man but anyways he's still phenomenal don't get it twisted still one of the best in the game it's just like certain changes i don't like and sorry i was trying not to rant and see what happens like shit i can't make a video about Thanos and not rant in it i don't know man like seriously it's a love hate relationship shit man as you guys can see i have recovery max hp at a 160 proc but for this guy you want a ctp of energy or destruction if you want to make him as good as he can be as for the uniform it's currently sitting at normal for obvious reasons like i said i have mixed feelings but eventually i think i'll get over it and i'll upgrade this uniform all right boys so let's jump into shadowland and see how well my thanos performs here because this floor right here as you can see there's a chance for the enemy to be immune to energy damage and a lot of Thanos' skills deal energy damage so this should be very interesting let's see how this goes oh crap this guy's gonna reflect oh crap okay we're hiding in iframes we're hiding in iframes. <laughs> Even with them having the chance to be immune, they're not immune to death. And that's what Thanos is bringing to them right now. Just <laughs> death. That's it. Look at Satana. I feel so bad. I love you, Satana. You're still my boo. But you gotta die, girl. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Steven, you let me down. So you're gonna have to go under, bro. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. These guys are actually putting up a better fight. Well, actually they're not. They're just staying off screen. 
and making it so that the fight lasts longer, but they're still gonna die nonetheless. Like, seriously? The fact that they're not even going immune. I guess because they're not getting a chance to, because I just keep like swapping from iframe to iframe. But Clea actually uh, silenced me there, so I gotta move. Wow. The fact that Clea makes it to the end, that right there is a sign that, like, goddamn, give Clea some respect. She's actually a decent character. Her survivability is not that great, so I'm very surprised that she made it to the end there. But whatever. As you guys can see, man, Thanos is an absolute monster. This guy just manhandled the stage. Immunity or not, you're not immune to death, and that is what this guy brings. Well, that's it for this one, man. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.